Good day and welcome to 501 Mat Leap, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this diagram of a square which has been dissected with three lines, and we're told that the area of that shaded triangle is 10 square centimeters. With that, we're to determine the area of the entire square. Pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm gonna solve it this way. So, my overall idea would be, I am going to find what fraction the pink triangle represents and then use that along with the ratio to determine the area of the whole square. So I'm going to be finding the area of this blue triangle, the area of this yellow triangle, and the area of this red trapezium, subtracting all of those from the unit one and then that will give me the area of the triangle in terms of a fraction of the whole. And then I'll use that ratio to determine the area of the entire square. So let's begin with the blue triangle. So the area of a triangle is half base times height, where both sides of this triangle happen to be the entire unit square. So a half times one times one just gives us that the area of that blue square is exactly half the area of the entire square. Let's hold on to that one half for later. Next, this yellow triangle. So again, we have the area is half base times height, where the base is the entire unit length one, but then the height, we don't know. We have to determine that H. So let's use a little bit of coordinate geometry. When we look at this line here, we notice that its gradient is going to be 2 because it goes up 2 units while it only goes across 1 unit. Also, its y-intercept is going to be 0 because if we consider that lower left-hand corner as the origin, that's where it starts from. So this line will have an equation of y equal to x. Then this second line that starts in the upper left-hand corner it will have a gradient of negative one because it goes down one whole unit as it goes across one whole unit. And its y intercept value will be one because it starts right there on the left. So its equation will be y equal negative x plus one. Where will those two intercept? Well, we can find that by equating them to each other. We'll have two x is equal to negative x plus one which gives us 2x plus x is equal to 1, or in other words, 3x is equal to 1, or in other words, the height h will be 1 third. So substituting into our formula for the area, it's going to be half times 1 times 1 third, which will give us 1 sixth. Let's hold on to that as well. Next, we're going to be looking at this red trapezium. So the formula for the area of a trapezium is half a plus b times h, where a and b are the two parallel sides and h is the perpendicular distance between them. So let's make some construction lines. That line and that line. The line on the left is one fourth of the distance. The line on the right is one half of the distance. So one half minus one fourth gives us a half. So we have that. The value of A is one half. The value of B, the other parallel side, is the entire unit length. And the height H is a half. Let's simplify this. A half times a half gives us one fourth. And then one fourth plus one gives us five fourths. So one fourth times five fourths is five sixteenths. Let's hold on to that as well. So we want to subtract all of those areas from the unit square. So 1 minus a half minus 1 sixth minus 5 sixteenths. That can be done various different ways. I'm going to do it this way, step by step. First, 1 minus a half is a half. Then a half minus 1 sixth. Well, the LCM will be 6, and I can express 1 half as 3 over 6. 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6. That's going to be 2 over 6, which can be reduced to 1 third. So 1 third minus 5 sixteenths. We can do that easily by just basically cross multiplying the numbers and multiplying the denominators. So 1 times 16 is 16, 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 16 gives us the LCM of 48. So 16 minus 15 is 1. So the area of that shaded triangle 
is 1 for the eighths of the entire square. Or, in other words, we can say that the area of the triangle is just one unit and the entire square is the uh, complete 48 units. So we can set up a ratio where we have that 1 corresponds to 10 square centimeters. How much does the 48 correspond to? So technically, we can find that by cross multiplying 48 times 10 square centimeters and dividing it by 1. So we get that the area is 480 square centimeters. Did you get it right? If so, comment below. And as always, if you like this video or found it useful, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.